Hi Gemini and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. This is for the week of January 28th through February 3rd, 2019. So Gemini, I am going to pull a card here to start off with your energy to see, you know, where you're vibing this week. But also every deck that I'm using along with everything you see in this video is listed in the description box below. I get a lot of questions about stuff that I use. So it's all there and I will do my best to always list it for you, okay? So Gemini, let's take a look. Okay, ooh, nice. You guys have the sea turtle protection. Taurus also received this as um, their energy. So Gemini, um, this says, you are the master of finding life's flow. Be in harmony with the rhythm and your path will unfold. Persevere and you will succeed. You have everything you need to be protected and happy. So Gemini, with this, what you need to know about this week is you have a lot of non-physical protection and support around you. So whoever you're dealing with, whatever's going on, have no fear whatsoever. Like you will prevail if somebody's like gossiping or trying to get you in trouble, like it's going to blow up in their face. Okay. You are very protected. Now, also with this, it could be the other way around where you're protecting somebody, you're standing up for somebody, you are, you know, totally squashing some gossip or a rumor, you know, that's untrue about somebody. So this could really go either way this week. So let's pull some more cards, Gemini, to get more info about that. Hey, so a faith, endurance, journey, hope. Yes, listen, Gemini, no matter what's going on, you're going to succeed. You're going to prevail. You know, whatever's going on, this is just part of the journey. And honestly, I feel like there's a life lesson going on here. The two and three makes a five. I did the Leo total lunar eclipse video um, for all signs and what came through in that video as significant from spirit was fives. Fives are all about change and challenges and to me these two pairing of cards coming out Gemini is it's finally time for a change to all of your challenges that you've been facing, okay? And all of these challenges and opposition is part of your journey. It's part of your spiritual growth, especially with the sea turtles coming out. And don't lose faith. Stay in a place of hope and perseverance that you know you are on the right path and doing the right thing, especially when nobody's looking, is going to be what, you know, wins the day for you. And um, anybody that's, you know, trying to come against you, Gemini, it's going to blow up in their face. Don't even retaliate or try to seek revenge or any of that. It's like the universe has your back on this one. So uh, let's pull some more cards. And these are the personalities or people or situations that are around you this week. All right, so we have the beaver spirit. Lay a solid foundation. So the five here transitions into a six, which goes from challenge, op opposition, to harmony, okay? And uh, that's also what this is about. There's a flow, a harmony. Gemini, um, to me, again, anybody trying to come at you, against you, behind your back, there is somebody who is going to have you and say, no, that is not true. That is not Gemini. That didn't happen. Or this person is saying these things because of this. It's There's some sort of conflict here, okay? And somebody really has your back. Or again, this is where you are stepping up and having somebody's back. So if an uh, opportunity like that presents itself this week, don't hesitate. Don't shy away from, you know, 
telling the truth or having somebody's back in the face of, you know, rumor, gossip, slander, all of those things. And again, if this is happening to you, somebody has your back and that's the universe and the universe works through each and every one of us. So somebody is on your side, um, also in the physical Gemini and whatever is being said or being done, it's just not going to come to fruition as the other person hopes or if there's been a lot of opposition in your life recently this is where this week there's some opportunity coming your way or somebody is coming in to offer you help to get through this there's a change because fives are also about change so oh nice and um hopefully i can uh show you this Four, four, four. Yes, that's stability. That's foundation. Um, this, you know, right here and right here. Solid foundation. Four, four, four. Yes, Gemini. Somebody has your back. Don't you worry. Okay. Oh, yeah. Look at this. We have the golden egg. This is your heart chakra. Okay. Um, if any, again, anybody causing you trouble, trying to come at you, ignore it. Do not sink down to their level. Stay in your heart space and you will prevail. Again, um, this could go the other way where I see you really feeling passionately about something and you're standing up for it, for a cause, a situation, or a person. And it's you're not going to back down and it's all coming from your heart space again anybody that's having your back and this could actually even be two people are like no that you are in their heart they believe in you they trust you and they're going to back you no matter what and look at this <laughs> You got the beaver twice. Yes, I absolutely freaking love that. Huge confirmation that somebody has your back, Gemini, and is going to go the mile to help you out. Um, whatever you need this week, you are not alone. I, you, I, and I don't want to keep saying this, but when I don't, it's like I get these comments. Well, this is true, but the other way around. So if this is flipped and... Um, you, this is all you that you're offering to somebody else. It's you're on the right path, Gemini. You know, stand up for what's right. But I feel this is more um, directed towards you. And you're just very supported and um, spoken highly of this week. You are in the heart space of many. And anybody who is, like, not feeling Gemini, it's like they get squashed, okay? You have the beaver on both sides of you. And that's... Um, People who are willing to work for you, go to bat for you, whatever it takes, and they're truly coming from a place of heart and soul. So you are very loved and supported this week, Gemini. And I saw that also in Capricorn's reading. So if you have like Capricorn rising, Capricorn moon, or strong Capricorn placement in your chart, you might want to check that reading out as well. Or it could be a Capricorn that really has your back or even like two earth signs here because you have two beavers with the golden egg and that's truly um, support and love from the heart and soul where I will do what it takes. I will do the work to help you out, to help you make it. So that's really beautiful, honestly. You have nothing to worry about. You are very, very protected. Okay, Gemini, let's pull some tarot to add to this. I feel like I need a shuffle. Okay. All right, yeah, look at this, Six of Swords. This is uh, rough waters finally turning into smooth sailing. And look, it's a six. The beaver is a six, all right? I love it. Oh, yeah, and look at the magician is card one. Um, magic is on your side. The forces of the universe have your back, okay? This is not just um, in the physical realm. This is also in the non-physical realm. 
Oh yeah, look at it. Now we have the Fool. New beginning, new starts, um, fresh energy coming in. Whatever this is, this uh, challenge, oppression, opposition, whatever this is that you've been facing or facing this week, when I say this is part of the journey, it's like it's finally coming to an end. You've learned a great deal from this experience, this person, the situation, etc. And now it's like time for the energy to shift and a new start. Like uh, if this is something going on in the workplace, maybe the person causing you trouble gets transferred to a different department, to a different uh, building entirely, or maybe they just lose their job, you know, um, or you have this fantastic new opportunity coming your way, or you get elevated and promoted. Um, you know, if this is a, like a relationship, a friendship, a family ship, a romance ship, there's been a lot of fighting and struggle and opposition. I feel this week we both are in our heart space because we have two beavers and we're both willing to do what it takes for a new beginning and leave the past behind. Okay, the beautiful reading, Gemini. Even though there's this funky energy kind of swirling around in here, it's like at the end, it doesn't really matter because you're protected and it's time for a shift. Like all of that's dissipating. Yeah, because look at this. Um, this is the Seven of Wands and this is with the Six of Swords. So yeah, this is a lot of things coming at you. Things feeling a bit intense overwhelming and hard to take and um now oh yeah look at that this is with the magician and so we have the heart space coming through twice now there is a lot of love being projected to you or given to you from the non-physical and whoever your supporters are uh, in life right now. There's a lot of love and this is under the magician and it's like love heals everything. There's a lot of magic, new opportunities happening for you. Okay, so it, you, it, you've you been through it and now it's time to have it, you know, easier experience, so to speak, because look here, we have the hermit and this really goes uh, to how I'm talking about this is part of your life journey. You've really been grown and stretched from whatever this experience is. I feel like this is more of an ongoing thing and it's finally being resolved this week. Um, you know, it's general, so this <clears throat> could be something that just plays out this week, but it feels something more like ongoing and it's like finally finally it's coming to an end and there's new opportunity new beginning coming in for you this week Gemini <clears throat> and with the hermit I just feel that you've learned a great deal okay and this is a brand new path before you also um, could be involving a Virgo as well so Gemini that's a really powerful you know, and I just thought I would peek to see what the next card was. And it's a four of wands and just the fact that we had the four, four, four. So anyways, um, something else I want to point out to you. Five, six, six, seven. So a progression of energy. And the magician is number one. The ace of cups is number one. That's an 11. And um, a, a new beginning, but it's... I see it as an 11, a master number. And then you come over here to the Fool and the Hermit. Okay, the Hermit's card 9, but it's not quite a 10, but the Fool is attached to it. So it, it might as well be. It's the completion, and here is the new beginning. Like, you've gained all you can gain from this situation, from this circumstance, you've gained everything you possibly can at a soul level. So that's why it's time for the energy to shift. Okay, and that is the order of the day for this week is just like this beautiful shifting of energy at where you're moving on. I mean, look at this, Gemini. You have the uh, six and the seven there. That's a progression of energy, and it's so perfectly paired. It's like uh, finally moving on from all of this opposition, fighting, challenge, things coming at me, gossip, slander, you know, whatever it is for you. Bye-bye to all of that, um, you know. And to me, this is where the universe and, you know, somebody in your life is really having your back, going to bat for you, really supporting you, and it, like, is everything, you know, you do have somebody on your side. So even if you feel 
very alone and unloved, it's not the case, Gemini. There is somebody who sees you and has your back and speaks highly of you and says good things. Um, also, your hard work and handling things under the gun, under the challenge, is bringing you some sort of, um, like, acknowledgement, opportunity, promotion, bonus. There's something kind of magical showing up in your week this week, and it's based on, you know, past efforts. So I definitely see that as well for some Geminis out there. Ooh, so let's pull you some advice, Gemini. That's a really good reading, actually. Oh, whoa. I feel like I just did that backwards. Okay, there we go. All right, I guess I'll... Oh, that's two. Okay. Okay, so we have a safe home. I cast this circle roundabout. Safety now is beyond doubt. Yeah, you got protection coming out twice. Gemini... There are many forces that are supporting you and have your back right now. And friendship, look at that. Bring to me friendship true, sharing laughter, understanding too. Beautiful. Yeah, Gemini, there's people that have your back. And you don't need to worry. You're not in this alone, whatever this is for you. And... Um, any sort of conflict, like if this is about a relationship, um, romance, f friend, family, if there's been a lot of conflict, again, I feel we're finally this week coming to a place of truth where we really understand each other and, um, you know, we're ready, we've learned a lot and we're ready to go about this in a much more equal way with the two beavers coming out very centered in our heart space also very soul okay so just remember you are not alone and you are very very protected reach out to all resources that are available to you all right gemini so those are your messages for this week i am wishing you all the best take care